in the Keystone State. Pennsylvania's own Joe Hedrick struck back big in HP Motocross. Even a mistake while leading the first moto at Pleasure Valley could not stop the home track specialist from victory. While behind him, the typical battle for the final podium spots raged on. The action was hot and heavy right to the finish throughout the top five. And then the gate dropped from Moto 2 where things boiled over. Hedrick led every lap again, while his championship rival Chad Wienan had to make passes after getting a bad start. The defending champ did just that, passing his way to second to minimize the points damage. But there was no stopping Hedrick from grabbing the 1-1 and the points lead. But now the legendary Unadilla awaits. Could it be the turning point in a season-long fight? Unadilla Valley Sports Center, perhaps the most legendary motocross track in all of America, is host to ATV National Motocross Racing this afternoon. I'm Jason Wygant here to give you the call, a big, wide, fast racetrack. And there's always an extra hint of drama in the air at this event as well. Strange things have happened. Cesar Jimenez hoping that good things happen for him. Vincent Merman as well, some of the young talent in the sport. There's Michael Perkins, number 94 machine as well. Logan Stanfield's 55. VTAC Nikanik coming out of Poland. Wesley Wolf been on a roll lately, got some podiums this year. Brandon Hogue has been quick but luckless on the number 26. And Jeff Rastrelli doing a good job fighting off the kids. He's been on the podium quite a bit this year. Max Lindquist very fast on the number two. Michael Allred, Cody Ford, he and his brother Bryce have been contenders this year. There's Bryce's machine, the number four. He has been fast all year and kept it on all fours, the last one for a podium. What's up everybody, it's Bryce Ford here. We're at Unadilla, I'm super excited for this track. I've been uh, training on a hard pack at the Sturt Compound and just excited, I'm gonna try my best and hopefully pull some starts and get some clean laps in. I'm just, like I said, excited to ride a faster paced track like Pleasure Valley and I had super good results there. And I'm, We did the same thing we did for Pleasure Valley and just gonna see how it works here and keep going from there. Here's Chad Wienan now back to the blue plates Lost the points lead by a slim margin at the last one to his title rival, Joel Hetrick. Let's see if he can get it back today. My goal is to come out here and uh, with good points. Obviously, this is a pretty strong track for Joel, but um, I'm going to do everything I can to try to disrupt that and have a good race here. A good starts are going to be key. And uh, I've had a good, uh, good week, two week span at home in Illinois and uh, just getting my preps ready and I'm, I'm feeling ready. Here we go. The riders are always a story, but when you come to Unadilla, it takes a lot of the spotlight as well. We'll show you what it's like to put machines out on this racetrack when we return. We're qualifying. We're also keeping an eye on the ever-changing weather. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by CST Tires. Joe Hedrick back in the points lead in the ATV National Motocross Championship. Had a big crash at the opening round of Daytona and has been on the comeback trail since. Let's check in. Coming off a 1-1 win at Pleasure Valley. Heading into another hard pack track. Uh, super excited. It felt really nice going home a point ahead, especially because it was only an hour and a half away from home. So Sunday I was home real early and uh, just got to, you know, gather everything in and just kind of figure out where I was weak at, even at the race. You know, I won both motos, but there's still, you know, some improvement to be made and uh, we're still grinding. You know, there's eight motos left and uh, it's going to be brutal. So I'm just going to keep grinding and keep doing what I'm doing and have fun. Okay, boys, let's have at it here at Unadilla. Only one practice session because of rain. And that's kind of a constant at Unadilla. Just wait for it, the weather will change. You can see he was actually dry and dusty at one point as they tried to keep the track as dry as possible in anticipation of the rain. A little bit of grass still on the track as well. That is tradition at Unadilla where they grass to place over at the end of the racing season. Wow, Brandon Hogue over the sky shot, throwing it sideways. There is Ford of the number four. Sky shot there. Hey, Nick Janusa out of New Jersey looking quick. 
there you see the high speed and the hard pack that a lot of the riders were talking about. Here's Jeff Rostrelli navigating this facility. And Wesley Wolf on the 741. They have built up the jump faces at this track through the years, but it still uses the general natural lay of the land for the elevation change. And then they'll build a couple of lips, as they would call it, to accentuate the air time a little bit. But this valley's been hosting great racing since the late 1960s. Michael Allred there. Vincent Merman here, 535. Cesar Jimenez putting the power down on the 101. Yeah, throwing it sideways, love it. Chad Wien in your fast qualifier, that is normally the domain of Hetrick. So Chad, he knows it's a good track for Joel, but he is feeling good today, but no one is feeling good about the weather. Remember what I said about the second qualifier having to be postponed or canceled due to rain? Well, it's still muddy for Moto1 up next. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by CST Tires. Well, you haven't had a true race weekend at Unadilla here in upstate New York unless you've had some sort of foul weather to deal with. And in the end, we've got the mud set up. Bigger tires, a lot of duct tape over the fenders, probably some of the airbox radiators as well. And let's go racing in the mud here at Unadilla. And Michael Allred, you can always pick him out. Allred on the all yellow machine has got the whole shot. Brandon Hogue. We're gonna point the cameras backwards today so they don't catch as much mud. You see him in the mix as well. Looks like Chad Wienan as they dive in and out of Gravity Cavity has taken over the lead. And you see a good crowd still gathered. They are a tough bunch up here in New York. Hogue off the side of the track, or I can't even tell where the track goes at this point. Actually making passes. Well, this is big for Chad Wienan, the start always important in motocross, but in a mud race where roost is such an issue, it's more important than ever. And Chad has been struggling with his starts the last couple of rounds, but he nailed it when he needed it today. And there he is in the Wien and Motorsports Yamaha looking good out front. But a sunshine here. So we'll see if this track can dry out. Wow, we got a tangle back there for a second. I can't even tell, is that Rastrelli and Hedrick battling Hedrick? gets tossed head over heels. A huge crash, and it's on the first lap of the race. You presume the entire field is going by, and look, he's all right. He's trying to get his machine back on four wheels. He can't do it. He is going to be not only last, but probably half of a lap behind the field. And is always the case. If Hedrick falters, Chad Wienan takes advantage. That is why he has seven championships in this series. He probably has no idea what's going on back there, but Wienan is about to take a huge points advantage if he can avoid that type of mistake, as well as the mechanical problems or other drama that come with racing in the rain. Unbelievable. Well, what a shakeup. And Hedrick, I was pretty surprised how many braking bumps and ruts there were coming into that right-hander. It's still pretty rough. You don't often get the rough terrain when you're trying to pack the track in and make it hard pack so the water rolls off. But Hetrick had the combination of both bumps and slick there. It's this very corner where he went down, and that is massive for this series long points chase. We've got the Ford brothers battling it out here, fourth and fifth. Check back in with Wienan, leading the way without a problem. Here's Bryce Ford, the young Texan has been fast all year. Hetrick still in 15th place. And by the way, there are 15 riders in this moto, so he is in last. Jeff Rastrilli is second. He's got around, rider got the whole shot, Michael Allred. Shout out to Allred's mechanic, Thomas Brown, multi-time winner in this series. Third in points multiple times. Retired now. Whatever they did at the start worked out. Actually, I heard that there was some standing water that they didn't even clear, and it worked somehow for Allred to grab the whole shot despite the outside gate pick. Hedrick finally has reached the back of the field, has made a move. He's in 14th place. Still a long way to go. 
so he's going to start trying to work away. But he was down there. Look at Weenan's lead. He is and long gone. And he's just trying to bring that Yamaha home and take advantage. The question is, how many riders will finish between himself and Hetrick? You've got the very difficult to pass for Australia in second. Allred putting in a great race, holding off Ford right now for a podium spot. There's the pass. Ford able to get by in the mud here in Unadilla. And as expected, the drama has unfolded. Stay with us. Racer TV is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by CST Tires. So the replay of that crash there, that is huge for the makeup of this series. That was your series leader, Joel Hetrick, going down here at Unadilla on lap one. Has put him in last place. And he is just trying to get into the top 10 right now. He's done it. He is in 10th on the Phoenix Racing Yamaha. Meanwhile, Chad Wien in second in points leads this moto. So he's going to build a big points lead. And if you give Wien in any advantage in points, Cesar Jimenez having problems with his machine, he's out. You give Wien in an advantage in points, he's so hard to reel in because he just never has bad races. It's unbelievable the consistency he has had over the last decade that he has been with the Yamaha. Freight train battle, we're used to that this year. Yeah, that battle is good behind Wienan. You've got Restrelli, Brandon Hogue here in the 26. All red, Wolf, Hogue, and Ford all in this battle. Ford is third behind Restrelli. Here is the white flag for Wienan. And no sign of Hedrick, just too far back to get in this battle. There's Rastrelli, there's Ford. Allred is trying to hold on to fourth over Wolf and Hogue. Rastrelli's gap is starting to get dwindled compared to Ford. He is definitely catching him, but there's only half a lap to go. And meanwhile, you can see Chad Wien on complete cruise control. Look at this battle between Wolf and Hogue, still going at it. And you got Linquist right there in the two, and then the 15 of Janusa. Talked about that in every show this year. You've got Wienan and Hedrick way out front. In this case, it's Wienan taking the moto win at Unadilla. Rastrelli a good run for second. He will hold off Ford, and the battle's behind those guys. It has been spectacular. All red with that whole shot award. Congratulations to him. Wienan with the moto win, and now pressure is on. Joel Hedrick ended up 10th in that moto. He's got to at least try to win this one and get a few of those points back, but seems pretty certain that Wienan will leave today as the points leader if he can avoid disaster in this second photo. Here we go. And Hedrick on the outside almost got the whole shot. Somehow Wienan able to squirt back in front. Close competition between those two. Janusa, bad start. Going to give us one heck of a show with our Rocky Mountain on board. Out of gravity cavity, they go. Love to see the setup. With Hedrick and Wienan in the one, two spots right out of the gate. I believe that's Wesley Wolf in third. And this field this year, it is so closely matched outside of these two. Wienan and Hedrick starting to get away. And then behind him, it has been throwing a blanket over the field. Janusa is showing you just how close it is. Go back and look at qualifying times from earlier here we go. Chad Wayne and Ashley, the fastest. And here, Roddy Tumlin, our live race announcer here in ATP Motocross. Trying to analyze that battle. Wienan versus Hedrick for the lead. Can Wienan get the 1-1? One, one? And he is starting to pull away just a bit. Wolf, keeping them honest. I think that's Rastrelli there, the number four position. Yes, it is. Then it's Ford and Janusa. Cannot believe how much this track has changed in just a couple of hours with the sunshine. I thought it was at least going to be tacky, but we have dust in spots. We're standing water on the track in Moto One.
Chanusa still dropping in on this battle. That's Rastrelli trying to hold off Ford. Oh, and you see how rough this track can get. With the onboard with Janusa sawing out the handlebars there. Look at this, Chad Weenan putting some distance between himself and Hedrick right now. And Hedrick has not been able to get away from Wolf. Nice move on the inside, Ford. And Janusa going to give you a view at that. Was Ford able to make the pass on Rastrelli? He was not. Wow, look at the lead Weenan has pulled. You do not see people pull away from Joel Hedrick very often. This battle's still going. Ford, Rastrelli, Janusa, Wolf, Brandon Hogue in on it now. And Janusa has a problem. Ah, oh, tough break for him. And we're also going to lose some of the really good footage of that battle. Brandon Ho gonna try to take us to the front. Oh, I don't know if anyone is gonna get a view of this guy. There's Janusa, we'll be right back. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by CST Tires. Watching ATV Motocross here on MAV TV, Unadilla Valley Sports Center, New York. Jason Wygan to give you the call. Chad Weenan has made mincemeat of this racetrack. Even had his championship rival Joel Hedrick start behind him in this second moto. And Chad has simply pulled away from the field, looking for the 1-1. We'll transition back to this great battle for podium spots. Wesley Wolf was keeping second place Joel Hedrick honest for most of this moto. Janusa is out with a mechanical. Saw that before he we went to break. Wolf has faded a bit here in the latter moments, and that's why Ford has caught him. Good battle for third, and Brandon Hogue right behind Ford. Hogue has come from nowhere in this moto. And Hedrick to look over. Ah, still doesn't have a massive gap over Wolf. And as quickly as Wolf was under pressure from Ford, Wolf's been able to pull back away. Ford must have made a mistake. Hogue has a problem. He's off the side of the track. I think he's actually working on the kill switch. Ah, tough break for Hogue, who's putting in a great run despite the bad start. And those are the kind of things that seem to happen to everyone but Chad Weenan, who will retake the points lead if he can hang on for two more laps. Keep watching this battle for third. Ford has caught Wolf for a second time. As the big man from Illinois, Weenan styles his way above Unadilla. Linquist and Rastrelli have hooked up in a battle here. One of the veterans, one of the newcomers, and they have had several good scraps this year forward a mistake in that right-hander, and that might be all she wrote in that battle to get Wolf for the final podium spot in this photo. And you can see Rastrelli fighting hard to try to catch Linquist down the stretch. Chad Weenan now one lap away from sweeping Unadilla. Said it would be a strong track for Hedrick. He needed good starts. He got two good ones and did the rest of the work right there. The ageless Chad Weenan. As for Hedrick, he's had the ball bounce the wrong way several times this year, but he usually does bounce back strong. So we'll be on the lookout next round, which will be Redbud on the Michigan and Indiana state line. That's a little bit closer to home for Weenan, but you know Hedrick is going to be going all out at that one. Woo! I don't know if that was fun for Weenan or a mistake, just trying to keep that thing in line. Backs it into this right-hander. Hedrick gonna salvage second in this second moto. You know he would have liked to have gone out and won it but Weenan was unstoppable today and salutes the fans over the sky shot for the last time. Chad Weenan in complete control throughout the day here in New York. And he's gonna win Unadilla. 
Ford of Rostrelli, second and third. We combine the two motos overall. Let's talk to them. Uh, sorry, I had to get off the podium. I was really sick today and um, just had a stomach flu, I believe, and just uh, was thrown up after the race, after the second moto. Uh, I kind of showed my performance getting a sixth place. I think we, we did what we could today, and, and uh, you know going 2-6 was, was good enough for third overall, keeping the points, uh, points chase for third in the championship alive. So um, yeah, today was good for sure. Had a super good day. The first moto wasn't so great. I had a bad start, but uh, just made my way up, and I ended up third right behind Jeffrey. Um, wish I could have got that second place in that one. Uh, and then the second one, we got a super good start, and I uh, just rode my race. I was fourth, I think, and uh, Wesley was in front of me. I would have liked to get him, but he was riding great, and I just got uh, fourth on that one, and I'm super pumped and uh, super excited to be going to Michigan, Redbud, and uh, this one really means a lot, and it's it's the best one yet. I know I said that at uh, Pleasure Valley, but I haven't got a second place yet, and I'm just super pumped. We nailed our setup. We had the, those big, the big tires on, and a day we've been looking for, and uh, a lot of work goes into this, and uh, just really blessed on uh, all the hard work that everybody puts in on my team, and uh, just really excited to go into Red Bud. Uh, we had the points lead, but we got a lot of work to do. we got to keep this rolling, and uh, we're going to try. And Weenan looking to tie the great Gary Denton with eight championships in this series if he can hold the points lead to the end of the year. And a change right here. Hedrick goes down hard. Lap one of Moto One in the mud. It's our CST tires race recap. He would claw his way back from last to 10 as Weenan took off with the lead. Brandon Hogue had some problems. There's Hedrick trying to get his machine back on four wheels. Michael Allred at a good start. He was able to hold on for fourth. There's Hogue battling with Wesley Wolf. Checkered flag to Weenan. Hedrick was back and almost got the whole shot in Moto2, but Weenan just able to get in front of him. Nick Janusa was right in the battle for top five. He had a mechanical problem. Wesley Wolf keeping the leaders honest. Weenan would pull away from Hedrick. What he said was the day he was looking for. There's mechanical problems for Janusa. Hogue had a problem with his kill switch. And Wolf rode well. Hold off for it. There are the standings, and just like that, Weenan has 16 points over Hedrick. We're headed to Redbud. For everyone at Racer TV, I'm Jason Wygant. Thanks for watching.